Most hurricanes breed in any one of three definite areas. The Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean area, and eastward in the tropical Atlantic, as far out as the Cape Verde Islands. Regularly scheduled Navy reconnaissance flights are operated into the Gulf of Mexico and into the tropical Atlantic. In addition, Navy men and planes are ready, on an hour's notice, to probe any part of the skies where a suspicious area has been reported. These special and regular flights by the hurricane hunters are another Navy contribution to hurricane warning. Because the long-range super constellations, heavily loaded with fuel and equipment, require the facilities of major naval air stations, the hurricane hunters are based at present in Jacksonville and Puerto Rico. Typical reconnaissance missions begin early in the morning, although ground crews and radar technicians often have worked through the night to have the plane and its complex radar equipment ready for flight. The crew is a big one, 22 officers and men, making up the basic flight crew, weather team, and radar team. These are hand-picked men, specially trained technicians, all of them. Before this day is over, the mission will cover more than 2,400 miles and last 12 to 15 hours, a long time in the air. The flight crew, captained by the plane commander, controls actual flight operations throughout the mission. The weather team gathers and records all types of meteorological data as the plane flies through the hurricane breeding grounds. The radar team monitors the electronic equipment which ranges over thousands of square miles of ocean to find and track storms and to probe for soft spots in the hurricane once penetration begins. Hour after hour, the plane flies on, following a definite track over the great ocean areas. On these long missions, a well-equipped galley is used to prepare full, wholesome meals. And, of course, coffee. Lots of it. For crew members not on watch, there are tables, used both for eating and just relaxing. There are bunks where they can catch a quick nap, and comfortable reclining seats for reading and socializing. Pleasant? Sometimes. But at any moment, on any given day, this is what can happen in hurricane breeding grounds. Toward the end of the scheduled run, the plane's search radar picks up a suspicious-looking cloud swirl. The weather team checks the radar sighting and finds falling pressure on the barometer. Even more ominous, the air outside the plane shows increased humidity. A look at the water below shows there are high surface winds from the west and northerly swells. To experienced observers, these signs add up to the suspicion that a hurricane is brewing. After more tracking, a special radio report, giving temperature, barometric, and humidity readings, is sent to the Joint Hurricane Warning Center. There, the report is entered on a map, along with any additional information from passing ships. In very little time, the meteorological experts complete their evaluation. This has all the signs of a hurricane in the making. <laughs> 